Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be showing you the game maybe where I've played the most beautiful checkmate of my little chess career so far. Now let's begin with this game. Uh, it starts off with d4, open goes with knight f6, I play bishop f4, open plays d6, I play c3, I'm going for the London system setup, as you see knights are developed now. Uh, open plays g6, I go for e3, uh, open fian carries the bishop on to g7, and here I try to pin the knight by placing bishop on to b5, open removes the pin by placing bishop on to d7, I go with knight to d2, connecting both my knights, open castles, and now I place my queen on c2, open plays a6, I get my bishop backwards now onto d3, eyeing this wonderful diagonal towards the king side. Open plays rook e8, and whenever that is played, generally the op opponent's idea is to play e5, uh, and I let that happen. I first went with bishop to g5, attacking the knight. Open goes e6, and I start my attack towards the king's side, placing h4. Open now places e5, finally, and I push the pawn forward to d5, attacking the knight. Open goes back with the knight, and now if you see, both the knights are attacking the pawn, so I have to take one of them out. I took one, open takes back with the bishop, so that the pawn is still undefended. And now I place e4 myself, so that there's no pawn break happening. Open plays a c6, trying to break open the c-file. I also play c4, trying to make sure that after the pawns are captured, center control is there. Open gets the rook onto c8. I had to move my queen and I placed it here on d1. Open goes back with the bishop to g7. And in this position, I played h5, trying to push for the pawn, uh, trying to break open some pawns there. Open sacks the knight there, looked quite tricky in the first go, but then I thought, okay, let me take, because after that, pawn forward e4 is coming, which will trap both my pieces, yes. Uh, so I thought, okay, let me take the, uh, the pawn uh, uh, with the bishop, and now comes f5, as expected, so that now open can simply take it with the pawn or the rook, uh, taking with the rook would be bad because I can take back with the knight. Uh, open uh, can take my b2 pawn as well. So lots of stuff hanging if you see uh, there's a pin as well. I cannot really do much about it. So I thought okay let me grab a pawn first. Open takes my bishop and now I take the h7 pawn as well with a check. And now as we see most cases uh, people now uh, have started using this pawn as a defense for themselves placing the king onto h8 so that uh, the pawn cannot move forward. King is pretty much safe there onto h8. I have to save my knight, so I placed it on h4 uh, so that uh, I can handle this pawn. If now move forward, maybe I can take, uh, maybe I can just maneuver my knight somewhere. Maybe I can castle. Either ways, I'll try to do something about this. Open place pawn forward. And then I thought, okay, wait a second. That's a checkmate with knight goes to g6. King didn't have any option or cannot take the pawn because the rook is defending it. And the only square where the king was feeling most secure, I give a check, moving my knight, which cannot be displaced from there. So that's a very nice, very beautiful looking checkmate to me at least. Probably one of the best ones that I have uh, done so far. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. So thought, let me just share this game with you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And I shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructing con instructive content as well. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.